Hey girl, hey, and welcome to my own damn show. My name is Emily, but you can call me Ems. Today I'm here to open a package. Um, I made an order at golfpikes.com several weeks ago, actually almost a month ago now, more than a month ago now. Um, there were some problems. Um, not bad things, just well, just like some delays. My shoes were made fairly quickly. They let me know when my shoes were finished being made, but due to a festival in Germany, I believe in Leipzig, if I'm not mistaken, um, there was a huge rush and a bunch of orders uh, they had from Germany, so they were working on those and getting those out. Uh, then finally, when mine were ready to be mailed, there was a postal strike in Germany from the Deutsche Post, so this is what happens. Anyway, um, just looking at the box, it's a little banged up after getting here. We have this little hole, which shows some red that I think is like some, it looks like crepe paper that might be just like protecting the shoes a little bit. Um, and then we've got this like punch here. So, yeah. Other than that, it's not too bad. Um, so yeah, let's dig in. And I've got my little dinky toy baby scissors, so we'll see how this works out. Ah! Uh, there's my shoesies! Look at those. Look at those with the buckles. Ah! So right here we have a little leaflet for gothpikes.com with a couple of the different styles of shoes that they sell. They're all winkle pickers, like all with the pointy toe. And let's see, my babies. Oh wow. So that's the inside toe, like the inside. And that's what you see on the outside. They're beautiful. These are gorgeous. These buckles are so nice. Look at these buckles. I got what's called the Western style buckle. Um, but these look more Viking buckle, like Viking buckles to me, like on Viking um, uh, belts. Um, I have someone that I know who's obsessed with Vikings and has like a belt that looks exactly like this because it was like a Viking, Viking reenactment belt. And there's the pointy toe. Oh, and they've got a lovely little label on the inside for goth pikes. All right. And the other one is the same, same. Gorgeous. And yes, there's just a red crepe paper at the bottom. Just a very simple way to package it. Um, so I ordered these in size 12 US women's because I've got a giant ass foot. <laughs> so I hope that they fit, first of all. Um, then I also got them done in vegan leather because they had the option to do leather, suede, vegan leather, and there's a couple of other options and I went with vegan leather. So these are, oh, just gorgeous. So we will see if they fit. I think, yeah, I have to unbuckle them to get them on, which is kind of like, hmm, but you know, we suffer for beauty. I don't think I need to do undo the bottom one. Oh, look at my socks, by the way. Look at this wiki feet. Oh yeah. I've got spooky socks on. Spoopy Halloween socks. So we just have a zip here. So it unzips. Ooh, they've got a silver like uh, bottom to it. Silver sole. With like a little extra padding there, which is kind of nice. Let's just see if they fit on my feet. I'm gonna put the other one on and then I'm gonna try and get a floor like show not a floor show that sounds wrong like get this on the floor so you can kind of see them up close
So, overall, I actually really love these boots. They look super witchy with the pointed toes, and I love, love, love the buckles. Kind of a little bit, um, they're a little bit like Viking-y, kind of like giving a nod to that kind of era with the buckles. I uh, like the tip, like the tips, the tips right here. These little tips. Living for those. Uh, they're so 80s. I just remembered I was watching Degrassi, uh, not junior high, Degrassi High. And uh, the guy that uh, the like activist girl got with, hang on. He killed himself. It was Claude. It was Claude Tanner. And he had winkle pickers. Because I remember you found his body, like, Snake found his body sticking out underneath the, underneath the stall door, and he was wearing winkle pickers. I remember this. Um, and it's just, they're so 80s, and I freaking love them. I'm actually going to check really quick on gothpikes.com to double check the style that I got. Uh, I believe they were called Susie. Uh, for Susie and the Banshees at some point. Or at least in the photo they were called Kate. Stop with the music. That would be great. Uh, Goth Pikes X6 Western Buckle Winkle Pickers Boots Gothic Bat Cave WGT Susie 80s <laughs> is the style that I got. <laughs> I love them. I'll link the style down below. Um... Totally 100% worth it in my opinion. They are a little bit snug um, on me right now. However, um, like when I got my Doc Martens, they were kind of snug. Um, with any kind of boot like this, you kind of need to let it stretch out a little bit and kind of work with it. Um, already, the first shoe I put on is feeling really great in the toe. My big toe does come to here, and then the rest of my toes are really shorter than my big toes. So they're kind of right here. Um, and then this one is feeling a little bit snug still, but it's going to loosen up like the other one did. This one's zipper was really tight. Ooh. This one's zipper was really tight, the left one. The zipper was a little bit hard to get, but it will eventually loosen up with wear. And I really love these. I was kind of afraid that they would go a little too high on me and look kind of cankily because I've got really big calves, like as you saw in the little like thing where I showed boots off. I've got really muscular calves so I'm always afraid of boots cutting me off right under the calf but not like bending into the ankle um, because then I just look like I have tree trunks for legs which is not a bad thing it's just that's not my legs and I wanted to look like my legs because I'm actually very proud of my legs. I like my legs. <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed me unboxing and doing a slight review of these gothpikes.com shoes. Um, it's goth-pikes, P-I-K-E-S. And pretty much their whole site is they just sell winkle picker shoes. And they're all custom made. You choose your, if you want, men's or women's. That'll just change. The women's will be slightly thinner in the foot and the men's will be a little bit bigger as most men's and women's shoes are like that. Um, and then you choose size one to four, one to 13 or something to 13 uh, US. I chose the 12, which was a good choice. I could have gone with the 13, but I feel like once wear, once kind of worn, the 13 would have been too big in the ankle. And I think it just kind of would have been sliding a bit too much in the foot. So I'm glad I did go for the 12. Um, I almost always wear a 12 anyway. I usually wear an 11 sandal because then my toes can stick out. I got really long toes. <laughs> you don't need to know this. If you hate feet, I'm sorry. But like, that's like the main reason my feet are so big. Like sometimes I have just thought of getting like that surgery to shorten your toes by like taking out like a part of the metatarsal. Is it metatarsals? That's, that's the toes, right? Metatarsals? I don't know what the toes are. I don't know. Mm. I didn't take biology. I took chemistry and physics. So skip that. Uh, like, pretty much, I just got the basics. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. 
But thank you guys so, so much for watching today. I'm so excited for this purchase. Um, I actually bought these with uh, tarot money. Uh, I read tarot professionally and I actually purchased these with the money I got from reading tarot instead of just from my normal job because anything I get from tarot is either going to go into, like, it's pretty much my extra income. So pretty much if I read tarot, I'm just like, I can use that money for fun things. So if you do want a tarot reading, it's literally not because I want to buy more shoes. It's just I love reading tarot, but it's too much energy for me to do for free. But if you do want a tarot reading from me, it's in the description down below, or you can check out my pagan channel, Hawthorne Mystics, where every week on the Tuesdays, I do the tarot lesson of the week, and that's completely free. I do one tarot card for everybody. It's just a quick lesson for the week, and that's completely free that I offer on my channel, as well as a couple of other pagan-related things, pagan witchcraft tarot. If you're interested in that sort of thing, pop on over there. But for now, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye-bye!